Uh, hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel for another video. Uh, if you have not seen my previous video, so please check the description and click on the link to uh, see the video. Um, okay, friends, uh, in our previous video, uh, we did create this create function and also we create this post function to create a product to our product table, right? So uh, let me go ahead and run the project. So I'm running Visual Studio. Uh, let me go ahead and click on product. So friends, you do see we have only one product here and which we create, create using our uh, product create function okay so now what we're going to do we'll go ahead and create another product i do it okay so uh, let's do hilsha fish i'll put price 499 uh this is the fish category okay i'll type it like fresh uh river fish okay and then i'll choose a picture from here so here you do see we have a hilsha peak one then hilsha home then hilsha fish hilsha three a hilsha fish right so you know we you can see a keyword here home so this means this image is going to be the uh home picture for the for this product okay and then all other picture would be under details okay so let's go ahead click this click this click this click this click this uh click open we do see five files now we'll put the price for this picture the purchase price is 2.99 and then let's say we are routing uh, 20 pieces okay so now we'll go ahead and create it uh let's we have one debug point here let's do continue so now you do see the home pictures here for this hilsha fish okay so here you do see if we want to see the details we need to go to edit or we need to uh, create another uh, function which will show the details view of the uh, of the product so first, uh, let's go ahead and build this edit function because currently we do not have, we did not implement it. Let's say if I click edit, right, you see uh, it is showing a product ID is 1008, but we do not have this edit function. But from this edit, uh, from this edit, we are getting the uh, product ID. So what we're going to do, we'll go ahead and, you know, uh, get the ID and load the product and then uh, send it to our view. So let me go ahead and stop the uh, project and then uh, we'll go ahead and implement the edit function for the view and then we'll go ahead and implement the post function for the edit to finish up our uh, edit uh, um, edit functionality to edit a product okay so stop the project uh, what i'm going to do now i'll go ahead and copy that get function for create so this is get function i'll go copy it and we, we will also going to use the same view, uh, view model okay the view model means uh, you know, uh, I mean, we'll do use product uh, view model because the from product view model, uh, we can uh, use inventory and image class, whatever the necessary class we need to use to edit the product. Okay, and then uh, this that's that, that that's why the model binding is very important in SP.NET Core. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, change create to edit because this is edit function, not the create function. Okay, and then I show you we are receiving a ID from from uh, view right so i'll put the id here so now what we're going to do we'll go ahead and load the product using this id so here we have a product right i'll go ahead load this product table so what i'm going to do i'll type products equal to i'll call the database which is products dot okay first or default all right so here well we looking id if the product is available to our database it will load it here we have loaded our product here that we need to edit uh but we do not need these two lines here because we are not doing anything on inventory and bmhs class so we go ahead and uh, delete these two line uh but we do need uh this uh this category list because uh we let user to to edit the category okay so uh then we need to load the uh category list from category class here we will go ahead and load all the image the url uh which uh have this product id okay uh, so to do that what we're going to do we'll type pro product view models dot products right dot image urls equal to context dot 
p means this class right dot where u goes to u u dot product id equal to id to list now we had the load email all the image urls for this product id okay and then sending this product view model to our view so uh, let's go ahead and create view for this edit action okay i'll go ahead and click on add view click on add then type it uh, edit click on add um i will go ahead and copy the code code for our uh, edit view okay uh, okay friends so i'm going to paste the code here so you can see i did paste the code so here i add the model class right so our model class is the product view model okay uh, let me go ahead and build the uh, build the uh, project uh, we'll go ahead and run it so the project just loaded here so now we're going to take a uh, click on product and now we have a two products in our product table so let me go click on edit so friends yeah you do see uh the view for our edit page right so this is similar to our create view uh, in our create view we didn't have a picture but in our edit view we have a picture but we do also have a same fields name and then the input name uh in the view okay only maybe purchase field uh is chain is not here because we not need it uh, this purchase price field is not part of our product table okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to go make it a small uh, i'll go ahead and explain what this code doing here right so if, if you saw my create view uh you should able to understand up to here right up to here means like you know we have a level uh for name then we have input so and also you do know we did create some uh custom css class so custom css class means if you go to oh your css folder you should have these two um uh, two css classes right that we created um customly so now what we are doing here so we are doing we are creating a row and then under this row we have a column size 10 and then we have a forum right and this forum is um edit forum and it allow user to upload uh, multiple files and the post this method so here we also doing a uh, validation as well uh, because we do not want user to submit um yeah invalid input okay so we will we will also validate from ui and then we also have product id here but this is hidden okay so now you do see the rows that um uh, yeah this rows is for uh you know the input fields so here we have a this is for our input fields and this is for our level okay so the, let me show you what it means you see this row right there uh from here so this row containing uh name and then the input fields and this row containing price and then the input field so let me go ahead how many rows we have one two three four five so we should have five rows here as well with the level and then the input field so uh, this is for our price right and then uh this is for our category right so we can select category from these rows right and then this is for our description and this is for our files where we can click to upload multiple uh, files or pictures okay so now uh up to here uh, you should understand because this is uh similar to our create view so now for the image what we did uh, uh what we are doing here we are checking if our product class has any any home image url not, or not uh, if does if home image url is empty it will not get in here if not if m if not empty uh, it will get in here if empty then it will skip this part okay so now uh, if we do have image right uh, we should get it from product tables and then product tables under home image url uh, it should have url for our product and then it will display on the page right and then what we also did we also add to anchor uh here uh because from here user can change the product uh if they want right or from here user can remove the product you see so we have not implemented these two 
anchor yet but i will go ahead and implement in our later video so this uh this part for the home image url and then this part uh is uh, for the additionally uh picture for this product uh, so a product could have multiple pictures so uh, this part is for the additional picture so here uh, what we are doing we are checking if uh, product image urls containing any url or not if it does contain it will go into here right and then uh, we'll uh, display the uh, display the product, uh, product image right uh, because under this image url we have saved the url for for this product and then now uh, this additional two anchor allow user to change the product or remove the product so and then also if you go a little down here we do have back to list and then the edit um edit button right so let me show you what this two here back to list and this edit right so if user click back to list uh it will take them to the list right and then if they have changed anything over here right and then they click on edit it will take two hour uh it uh it, uh, it will take two hour uh edit post function okay and then uh, rest of the is closing the deep and make sure you also add this section because this section will uh work with the validation so uh friends i think uh, uh we are so far good here but make sure uh you do copy everything carefully and don't uh, i mean uh make sure there is no error okay and also if you need this code please do comment in the video i will go share with you okay so thank you for watching the video see you in the next tutorial please do share like and subscribe the channel thank you bye